you star code Brambi. Hey everyone, so in today's video we'll talk about the trophies and we'll go over all of them and see which ones you have and which ones you still need. So let's get right into the video. So recently I got a comment by a name I cannot even pronounce. Nah, I'm not gonna try it. But Bravi, do you have the 365 visits trophy? It gave me 2k blog bucks and it was like, you play 365 days. I don't know if it means Vlogsburg days or real days. Can you please explain the trophy? And so I figured, why not make a video about all of the trophies that exist in Welcome to Bloxburg? I'm probably gonna forget some, but I'll try to cover all of them. If I do forget some, please let me know in the comments down below. So let's start with the easiest trophies to get. And I don't have all of the trophies, so we'll use Bloxburg Wiki for help. Now, first of all, there are the work trophies. So if you reach level 50 at any job, you will get a trophy or a plaque that you can hang on your wall to flex about having level 50 in a job. Also, yes, I did make a video about trophies like two years ago but a lot has changed since then if you go to the Bloxburg wiki welcome to Bloxburg fandom I will link it in the description you can see all of the trophies that exist in welcome to Bloxburg and as you can see for a lot of trophies that you obtain you get a reward now that didn't used to be the case but now it happens and so I had to look it up because I don't find it on the Bloxburg wiki page, but this is what the trophy looks like. So you get an excellent award. This is basically something to hang on your wall, present it to, and then your username, and then for the job. So for each job, you can get a trophy. So if you really want all of the trophies, you're gonna have to get level 50 in every job. That brings me to the next set of trophies and those are skills. Now skills used to be easier to get, now they are quite hard, but if you are level 10 in every skill, you will get a reward for each of them. I only have cooking. I really need to work on my trophies, don't I? But there's gardening, music, painting, gaming, athletic, intelligence, writing, and then crafting and programming. Now crafting and programming do not exist. They have been here for quite a long time now and we still do not have them. That's why it says level zero, you cannot get these trophies. So for cooking, explains for itself you need to cook for gardening you need to plant flowers or trees for music you need to play the piano play the guitar for painting you paint on an easel for gaming you play on the computer or the tetris machine probably for athletic you use gem equipment for intelligence you read for writing you write on the computer and that's it for now so the trophies well i only have the cooking trophy you can find them and decorate you can always buy them again if you scroll all the way down you will see all of your trophies so okay oh i can see the plaque but they are locked. So these are all the job trophies. However, there are more. These are all the skill trophies. So I only have cooking, as I said. Also, you can paint all of the trophies if you wish to do so. So that's very useful. Moving on, we go to the premium trophy. And a premium trophy is that P you have right here. I think it came out in 2016. This is a trophy you get just for buying the premium game pass right here. So if you have 300 Robux to spare and you want another trophy, get this game pass. Then moving on to some of the harder trophies to get. I will get to the block box ones in just a second. Moving on to the harder trophies to get. There are some really, really hard ones, but um, one that is a little bit easier to get, at least if you find it. And I don't think you can actually buy that one in a decorate, but that is the giant seashell trophy right here. And this one you get by finding a hidden seashell on the Bloxburg map. I will not tell you where it is, but it is somewhere on the map if you find it. it does disappear sometimes but if you find it and you go to it you will get this trophy and you can get this trophy multiple times but apparently you cannot buy it in build mode it's probably just because it's a special item and then a harder trophy to get but it actually does exist there was speculation if it existed or not is the lightning strike trophy now for that that is a really really hard one to get there haven't been many people who got this one if you go to options well i'm in my neighborhood but you need to be in a thunderstorm first of all so it needs to rain and there needs to be lightning and you need to get hit by that lightning but the lightning strikes at random positions on the map so to be hit by lightning is really hard but if you get hit by lightning you will get the trophy i i haven't gotten it and i don't plan on trying to get it i once did a video trying to get the lightning trophy but i was recording for like five hours already and i was like you know what i'm just gonna stop <laughs> and then there is trophies that you could only get from an event so these trophies probably will not be available anymore to new players so if you have those you got something really special on your hands there is the Bloxburg school trophy and this trophy was from this year's April Fool's Day. There was a school and you had to do some tests. This is a trophy that you got for it. We also have the April Fool's Day trophy from last year. It's kind of hard to see. Let me go into shift P mode and zoom into it a little bit. It's 
a rainbow. It looks so pretty. And yes, I have multiple of them. I did the event multiple times. And then there is one more, but I probably use it in a build somewhere, I think in my news building. And I also go into your inventory, by the way, but everyone knows that already, I think. Okay, so it is right here. The Roblox Battles plaque looks like the one you get from getting level 50 in a job. And then there's also the corn maze that was with the Halloween update. And then we got a corn trophy for that. If we completed that corn maze. So these trophies you cannot get anymore. Those are special awarded trophies. So if you have those, very special. And then these are also trophies that you cannot get anymore. This is the 1 billion visits trophy and the 5 billion visits trophy. Basically, they were given out when the game hit 1 billion visits and when the game hit 5 billion visits. So there is no way that you can get these fry trophies anymore. Then same thing with the elf trophies. So I have the golden one. Well, I painted it pink, but I have the golden one from 2020 and I have the platinum one and the platinum one has a star, but I painted it gold because I liked it better. But you do get a star if you get the platinum trophy. Now, the way you got a platinum trophy is by completing the elf hunt daily. So when the elves came out, you did it within 24 hours. So basically you had to look for elves on the map. It happens every year. It's a fun event. If you do them every night, you get the platinum trophy. If you do them all at once, like when, when the event is over and then you decide to go for all of the elves all at once, at the end of the event, you will get the golden trophy. And then if you decide to wait a few more days after that, I think you get a bronze trophy for that. Now it's all explained right here. The yearly elf cookie quest, silver trophy. It's not a bronze trophy. This is if you do it a few days after. This is if you do it like a day after, but you collect all of them in one day and then this is if you do them every night when they come out. I think there's 12 or 13 elves every year. And then we move on to all of the streak and visits trophies and this is where it gets confusing for a lot of players. So I'll try my best to explain it as best as possible. Wow, you get $75,000 for this one. I should really get that trophy then. So it is explained right here, but the streak trophy is if you join every other day. So every 24 hours, I think you join once. You do have 24 hours after your 24 hours to collect it. But this is basically a streak. So if you do your 30 day streak, if you join every day for 30 days in a row, you just have to join and load in your plot and then you get a streak basically. If you do that every day, for 30 days, you get the 30 day streak rewards. If you do that for 14 days, you get the 14 day streak reward. If you do that for seven days, you get the seven day streak reward. So it builds up just like that. And then there is the visits trophy and that is a different from the streak trophy. Visits are basically how many days you visit, not in a row, just how many days in total. For example, you play 20 times in April, you play 10 times in May, you get 30 visits in total. So it doesn't have to be every other day that you have to join for this. If you play 365 days over, for example, three years, you get the 365 visits trophy and 2000 block bucks. So the difference with those is that the 7, 14 and 30 day streak trophies are if you join every other day. The visits trophies are if you just visit the game, not every other day, but for every day you visit. Basically, I feel like I made it more confusing help. And I think those are all of the trophies that you can get in Bloxburg right now or could have gotten from previous events. And then the streak trophies explained as well. I Apparently, I already do have the 365. I didn't even know that. But uh, yeah, I need to work on my Bloxburg streak then. So I hope I explained this to you in a way that you understand it now. I know it can get quite confusing with the streaks and the visits, but yeah. I hope this helped you out. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.